Hi, I'm Nicky Clark, and today I'm going to be showing you a kind of an old school Hollywood idea. Very simple look on Tiana's hair today, but just exactly how we're going to get there, including the prep and what rollers we're going to be using as well. So I'm going to start off. Now, one of the, one of the things that people um, make as a mistake is that they don't actually prep the hair properly. Now, if you have fine hair, you need to actually put on some kind of volumizing spray or a mousse or something that's going to give you a bit of guts into it. Now, Tiana's actually got very, very thick hair, so she doesn't need to do too much, but we do need to work around this hairline and also around the roots. So I'm going to use my hair raising spray, which is a volumizing spray. Now, the great thing about this one is apart from the fact of it doing what it says in terms of giving it the guts, but by being in a spray, I can actually focus it into the roots and the mid lengths and not really too much at the ends. So with my dryer, I'm just going to get this back in. So you can see I'm just building some of this through. Now because I've used this on dry hair, this doesn't actually take that long to dry. In fact, it can even be fractionally damp. So I'm about to be putting a heated roller in there. Now the look that I'm aiming for is to get something quite clean. So it's actually quite important that I get my part first of all. So here we start. So once we start, just by getting a really nice, neat shape here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a point, it's almost like a, a, a triangular or a, a diamond shaped triangular part in just there. I'm going to run that through, run it through very, very cleanly. And I'm going to put in a roller that's going to be enough to make this first uh, part of the fringe put a bend into it. So I put go straight in keeping it clean, not twisting it at all. And just make sure the ends are very, very neatly in. And then it rests almost on its own base. So again, coming from behind, another triangular section. I'm gonna lift this one. And again, a similar thing but they're all going to be coming forward. So again, wrapping it round, making sure the ends are really, really neatly in. These are always a little trickier when you've got layers around there, but with a little bit of practice, you'll find that these work very, very well. Now this is the point where the layers start to get very long. So I'm only going to use these two hot rollers at this point because these, this is where the layers are only come down to here. What I'm now going to do is actually go down to a flexi styler, which is, but use it in the same way, but it's slightly thinner and it's longer as well. It enables me to take in more of the length of hair. Now you can see what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping round, working away from the scalp. So that all goes in. As those last ends come in, I just fix round, half a turn, and then catch it all in. So it then stays in nice and neatly, and I then just fix those round. And we're gonna continue this all the way round. So remember, in order for this wave to come forward and for all of those crests to, to match up, this wave is working away from the face. So in other words, as you work away from the face, it will fall forward. Sounds odd, I know, that's the way it is. And of course, if you want the wave to go backwards, we would be doing it forwards. On this side, I'm gonna continue working with the same hand, but in fact, as you can see, it will work. I'm now going forwards, because I actually want this side to go backwards. So I'm working all the way down, all the way through to the ends, take the ends in, come down half a turn to keep everything in, everything neat, and then wind back up again. The amount of um, flexi stylus that you would, that you would use 
um, depends upon the thickness of the hair. I mean, Tiana's got very, very thick hair, so I'm particularly taking slightly smaller sections. Um, very often on another head of hair, you may well be able to get away with, you know, eight, nine, 10 flexi stylus throughout the whole head. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking these rollers out. Now, of course, on this, you could have actually have taken half the amount of rollers. Um, Tiana's actually got wavy hair, so we've deliberately kept a lot of this curl here. But in fact, on straight hair, you could actually just take one section if you wanted and just get a much smoother, looser curl. The advantage of doing it slightly tighter, of course, is that you get a, a curl that lasts longer, but also that you can take it out if you want to. Now at this stage, it's really entirely up to you how you um, brush this out. You have the choice of making it very, very tailored and very clean and almost really going for, for broke and getting that whole kind of Hollywood sort of beavery sort of look. Or we can stretch all of this right out. We could even actually bring some of this down, this fringe down and keep it softer and just spray all that in. But a lot of it now is to do with the finish. And you can either keep it so that it has that slight spontaneity and it's very loose curls, or we can really try and take some of this out. So I'm gonna take some of this out so that you can see it. But of course, you don't need to be doing it that way. You could keep the whole thing slightly tussled, slightly looser. But you can see how, you see how this wave, even though we've done it the same way, but it's on different sides of the head. This wave is now actually coming backwards, so we're going to utilize that. So I'm just going to accentuate these crests. Now just to make sure these don't mark, I'm just gonna take a little piece of tissue and just pop those in now, just to help. So really all you're doing is following the wave that you've already put in. Okay, so we've done all of our prep in terms of taking out some of those marks. And then really what I'm gonna do is just use a combination of some finishing cream and really some hairspray, really just to start to smooth some of those fine flyaways. You could, of course, exaggerate this even more.
So coming back to the, the front area, it starts to be really up to us whether we want to keep some of that or start to play around with it. As I said before, you could very easily keep this so it's still smooth. You can exaggerate this so that it comes um, much higher there or we could actually take some of this so it becomes much easier and it just becomes that. But essentially the start of what we have done is to put the bend in here. And by accentuating it with the clips first while you're working on other things, gives you that choice. So of course we can just keep this down if you want. It doesn't stop you um, exaggerating this if you want and actually holding it back with the barrette and making it slightly more forties. But the fact that you've set it like this means that it's naturally going to want to do that and be away. But by being specific and you know much more couture-like in the sense that you're just taking some of that out behind, you end up with a much classier result. And there you have it.